It's my first ever AP exam. First day at work. Senior year is just around the corner. It is chomping at the bit. Yeah, okay. this was the last spring practice. I am going for an interview. Stop laughing! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the day. Big, big, big day today. First day at work. Okay, it is summertime here at the Donnelly household. Brennan is home from college and he is celebrating summer. First day of work, job one out of two. He has been on the grind getting a job and he's had two jobs so far. What's this one? Dealing donuts. Working at a donut shop. So he's gonna be there at seven o'clock you start today? Yeah. Man City plays at three o'clock, so you gotta watch that one. You got priority straight, man. Yeah, golf course on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then We'll see what the rest of the schedule looks like. Are you excited? Not, yeah. Not really. Okay. All I'm right. excited to get a paycheck. Sit yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's fair. It's fair. Okay, excellent. Well, good luck. Can't wait to hear all about it. You think you're going to actually be making donuts? No. No? You just work in the register? Yes. Is there a little guy in the back with a mustache that makes donuts? Do you know? No, it's an uh, Oompa Loompa. An Oompa Loompa? Yes, yes donuts. Back in the day, there was a commercial. Time to make the donuts. Do you know that commercial? No. Oh, I'm gonna pull up and show it to you right now. Oh, you guys, if I, can, if I can show it to you, I will as well. If you remember the time to make the donuts commercial, comment down below. Round two. Oh. Good morning. Oh, did I scare you? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did that to dad all the time. I didn't mean to scare and you. And I was on high alert because it's my secret cereal. Oh, <laughs> what's your secret cereal? So, well, first of all, cinnamon toast crunch. I, I, mean, to, oh, I don't to think other people will eat it, but I don't want anyone getting any ideas. Right. So, you know, you come in, this is where we keep the cereal right here. Right. So it's supposed to be made some, oh, it's just not cereal. You know what I mean. Thanks. <gasps> Stop <laughs> it. Who knows? No one. No one knows. I had no idea. Yeah. I didn't even know we had three containers. It's fantastic. Oh, can you not? Get this to get it out? Okay, hold on one second. We gotta move that car. Hold on a second here. Okay, so while Brennan is getting the bike out, I'm gonna tell you about what I'm doing at school today. I missed my AP US history exam when I was at Disney doing the Star Wars thing. So today is the makeup date. Basically, it's my first ever AP exam. I think I'll be fine. It's like a bunch of questions and you have to write an SAQ, an LEQ, and a DBQ. And if you don't know what those are, they're all just writing stuff. Um, so pretty boring. It's gonna take a, a majority of my morning, but after this, I really don't have much left in terms of school other than exam week. There's exam week, which is yeah, not the best, but it's okay because I studied a lot, you know, in the days leading up. So I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna enjoy this cereal. And I'll see you guys later. All right, good luck, right guy. Appreciate it. You're gonna kill it. I hope so. Hey, guess what else I found out? Um, Your SAT scores come out on Friday. Oh, shoot. No, that's good. I know, but that's never wrapping. Okay, so you guys, if Ryan, Ryan's trying to achieve a certain score in the SATs, and he was 30 points shy of it on his first SAT, so he took his second SAT um, about two Saturdays ago, right? Two or three Saturdays ago. So when a score comes out, if he's achieved that score, he is done taking SATs. Excellent. Huge. That would be huge. Otherwise, study, take it again. Yes, but that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, senior year is just around the corner. It is chomping at the bit. Did you have know, that Friday or Monday? He's not even sure what his last day of school is. Either Friday or Monday. He's not exactly sure how they do it down here, but he'll just go with flow, right? Yep. All right, have a great day. Mm -hmm. Good luck on your exam. Mm -hmm. Manifest Destiny, you got it. Obviously. The Pilgrims, you got it. Reconstruction. Reconstruction, you got it. World War One. World War One, you World got War it. Two. Two. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. All kinds of things happen in AP American history. Well, AP stands for Advanced Placement. I don't know if you guys who are watching from other countries or who haven't been in high school for a while know what that is. So he's taking his AP Advanced Placement, um, U.S. History exam. All right. You know, AP was started during the Cold War, and the first ever AP course that was offered to high school students was AP U.S. History. Are you serious? I didn't know that. It's a fun factoid. Mm -hmm. The Cold War. <laughs> 1776. Seven, that was a big my, one. My favorite. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. Good job, bud. Good luck today. Love you. See you when you get back. If you guys are new to our channel, you might not know who I am. I'm Jill. I'm mom. And we recently moved to Florida. I say recently, but no. It's almost been a year. Holy cow. We moved in June and it's May now of next year. So anyway, but while we've lived here, um, you know, we have a child in high school, Ryan, who you just saw with the AP exam. He has had an opportunity to live here the whole time and absolutely get acclimated and absolutely adores it here. Um, the other two, Katie and, Ryan, Katie and Brennan, are in college. So since we moved here, they've been away at college most of the time. So this is somewhat new to them. They've got a lot of college friends since they go to college in Florida as well. They have a lot of college friends who live in the area, which is really very nice. But for them, like coming home for the summer would have been Maryland. So they do miss their friends in Maryland and the lifestyle they had in Maryland. But I think it's great and fun to learn something new. So anyway, there's been adjustments. It's funny because here in Florida, the season is different than it is up north in Maryland. In Maryland, the high season is the summertime because everybody goes up there for the summer. Here, the high season is the winter, which is when they're in college. So it's not like people hire for seasonal summer jobs down here, which is totally not something that we even thought about. Like it didn't even cross my mind. So it's been fairly difficult for Brennan to find work, but, um, but he's going back to the golf course where he was before. And now he's, he has got a job at this donut shop as well. You know, those are the things moms deal with is trying to figure out and help them navigate through situations and find the best solution. And, um, hopefully we have and today was his first day and i hope he loves it i'm not sure he's gonna love it i hope it works out for him we'll put it that way and i hope it um gets him what he wants which really like he said is a paycheck he's he's like i don't care what kind of work i do i just need to work a lot and make money so anywho that's what's going on and then katie has a friend in from college they went to the beach the past two days so kate is really settling into her summer very very nicely <laughs> So Katie went to the beach yesterday with her friend, Ryan. And, well, yesterday and the day before, right? Yeah. And she says she used sunscreen, but look, she just came, okay, look at her lip. <laughs> she walked downstairs and said, what did you do to your lips? Because she always jokes she's going to get lip filler. <laughs> you totally burned your lips to the beach yesterday. It'd be better if... This oh lip, like, <laughs> Stop laughing! <laughs> you just don't look like you at all. Oh, does that hurt? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Rub it together. What's the lesson that we've learned? I, but look at my face. It's beautiful. Yeah, but you've it's had to put burnt. stuff on your lips. I know, I know, but I put my mineral sunscreen on my face and it worked so well. And I guess I just didn't even think. And like, my lip, <laughs> my lip, stop laughing! My lips, my lips was hurting too. Like it was hurting all night. Last night you said it was like there was about like yeah. there was salt on it. It was really tight. Cause um. Yeah, you got to be careful of your lippies and, that and your eyelids. But I did put stuff. See. Mhm. Mm you did a nice job there. You got so much color. You're very very tan. Thank you. Ouch. See, I feel like that was a great success because, like, well, you got bumpies on your arms. Well, no, they're Are they gone. gone? Okay. Yeah. Good. So like. I feel like I'm nice, even, like, good tan, not too burnt. Like, my belly's not burnt. My chest isn't burnt. Okay, so again, it's just I my lippies. You guys that we just moved to Florida. So Katie's starting to learn what it's like to live in Florida and to okay, be very um, careful let's not be dramatic, with the sunshine. Okay. <laughs> um, I, so I had a dream about these last night. Oh, I got some new earrings, you guys. Guys, I have very ten dreams. Bucks. Yeah? Like, every single night, I have really vivid dreams. Okay. You took my makeup. Yeah, you gave it to me. Yo, you can I'm teach me how to use it. Katie's getting rid of a lot of her stuff. So she gave me some makeup, and I'm not sure exactly how to use it all. But I'm she's still not me. done cleaning on my room now. Oh, we should go take some. So getting some clothes ready. I'm going to be trying on some outfits and asking Katie and Mike to decide which ones they like better. Um, I am going for an interview. And this is the first I've talked about it. So it's very exciting. So we'll show you some outfits and you guys comment below what you guys think I'm gonna be doing. What am I interviewing for? Ah! So I'm trying to decide what outfit I should wear for my interview. Uh, this is kind of a fancy coat, which I like and I think it's different, but I'm not sure that it, it might be too flashy. I don't know, what do you think? Huh, um, I, I think I might agree with you. 
Okay. It might be a little too flashy. Can you try it without the jacket? Well, yeah, but I, I can't just go in with a shirt. Oh, you can't? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Not What's Kate think? Kate, okay, what do you think? I think it's fantastic. I think if you were going to wear the jacket, mm -hmm. I think I'd wear a shirt underneath that's not flowy at all. Oh, really? I feel like, like a tight, I feel like you're a tank top or something. Oh, I would say a black one. one. Let's see what I else you have. Okay. Cool. I like you that, agree? too. It's professional. Thank you, Mike. Why is your shirt tucked into your pants? Should it be more like that? I mean, I can't be. Yeah. That. So that's the thing. So does that make you want the other one better than this one or this one better than the other one still? I think that's really cool. Is that new? Yes, I went yesterday and bought that. Looks nice. Thank you. Kate, what do you think? <laughs> you look very professional. Thank you. I'd hire you in a second. I love the earrings on the left too. Okay. They, I mean, they're both beautiful and you could be fine with both, but I love those on the left. Thank you. Yeah, that's sharp. So. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> so is this it? Is this the outfit? I think it's sharp. Thank you. It's very conservative, but I love the black and red. Yeah. I like the red jacket. Should I do red lipstick? No, sometimes I do red lipstick. Maybe. Okay. But get a good perfume too. What's your best perfume? Oh, my one from um, Epcot. Mm -hmm. From Norway, it might pop me. Layla. <laughs> I'll show it to you. <laughs> okay, so I feel good. I feel good in it. it I, looks it's sharp. comfortable. I'm not gonna wear these heels like through the airport and everything. I'll wear them when I get there. Uh -huh. it, it's a long time to wear heels, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want my PVs to hurt. And they're not like, they're comfortable, but not like, Comfortable. But if I get the job, I'll have to wear hands every day. Oh. But they have some really comfortable ones. Make sure you stretch. Because the last job you had that you wore heels every day, you tore your Achilles. <gasps> but, oh, right. That's right, Katie. I totally forgot about that. I think about that all the time. Yes. Thank you. I forgot it because it shortens. You guys, it, when you wear heels, it shortens the back of your Achilles tendon. And then I, well, I did gymnastics. <laughs> Maybe I won't do that again. And you also did ballet mm -hmm. so these are um this is my new blazer i just got this is mom's shell these are my pants i've had forever and i did get these earrings new do you like very professional I love fantastic them. okay mike i would hire you in a second you would yes you're hired thank you do you like my hair like this kate it's gonna be dry and everything but do you like it high in a bun like that yeah I like yeah. it too. I can have, I think you might want to try this off one now. I think you should Okay, so it. we need to do it at like ASAP. Okay. So we're going to lunch, we're going to dinner at Nana's at five and then going over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Brian just returned home from school, put on his soccer jersey, football jersey. Brendan returned home from his first day at the donut store. And these guys have got it going on. Just give me a brief, brief run down here. What's going on? So this is the Champions League semifinal. They play, uh, it's Manchester City, our team. We're playing Real Madrid. They play two games, one at the Real Madrid Stadium, one at the Manchester City Stadium. Uh, and they take the score for both games. So the first game was 1-1. And now this is the second game to see who goes to the Champions League final. Um, it's basically all the best football cl or soccer clubs in Europe um, okay. that play in this. So it's, it's a pretty big deal. Okay. All right. Good luck, you guys. I'm we'll pulling for you. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, I just sat down, you guys. I realized I did. I realized that I haven't vlogged like a major portion of the day. Mm -hmm. We never did a follow up on Brennan and his job. How'd your job go for day one? More importantly, Man City won four 0 <laughs> We're through to the final, and this could be our first Champions League ever. So this could be the best year ever. Go Man City! You guys saw him jumping up and down. Okay, so I showed you three three different jumping up and downs. That was for three different goals. But they scored a fourth, and I must have missed that one. Fourth, yeah. For, for a... All right, go Man City. And then the Oils are up three one, so let's run. Nice. Oh my gosh, yeah. it's the best day ever. Mm. We, we just got back from Nan and Pabst. Look at those beautiful flowers, Callie. 
Ryan's girlfriend got those for me for Mother's Day and Katie's friend Ryan got those for me because she came to visit. We just got back from Nan and Paps. They had us over for dinner and I did not film that. I apologize. But these guys, on the other hand, are up here. What are you guys watching? Here, Mom. Criminal Minds. It's been a while. It's been a minute since you guys watched Criminal Minds. Kelly, apparently, what? The thing that was happening to my lip this morning where it was huge. Yes. Apparently, that's like people were trying to get that on TikTok. So they were putting Aquaphor yeah. on their lips and then the sun would blow <gasps> up. It looked like the Kylie Jenner lip. Yes. Did you see the picture? Did she yes. show you the picture? Yeah. And it's like that. So it was, it was just sunburn, but. Okay. Yeah. Let's not do that again. I know. Okay. Crazy. And now I'm scared because they put Aquaphor on their lips, which is supposed to like hydrate your lips. But because it's so shiny, it got them more burnt. But I have like my chapstick, which says it's SPF. Yes, chapstick I think is probably different than Aquaphor. But it makes your lips shiny too. No, but it has SPF in it. I don't understand. Okay. Hey Ryan, tell us a little bit about a little follow up on your exam. Because last time we saw you, you right. were, well, jumping up and down for Man City. But before that, you took an exam today at school. So I, uh, I was good. I knew all my stuff on, like, the multiple choice. Everything was good. It's just the writing. So we had an SAQ, a LEQ, and a DBQ. Oh, my gosh. I have no idea what any of that means. I know DBQ. <laughs> DBQ <laughs> is deductible before quotient. Close. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it was fine. I just I forgot about like all the quotas they had to fill out to get points for it. Oh. And I don't know, but my writings were fine. Okay. I just don't think I got full points. Okay. It'll be okay. random. Okay. I think I did well. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And you know that on Friday you get your SAT scores back. No, I'm scared. Bam. I think I did no. well, like I'm pretty yeah, don't be sure. Scared. Be confident. I'll be okay. All right, and Callie had to be at school early this morning. How'd that go? Tiring. <laughs> I bet so, I bet so. Oh yeah, my gosh. Do you have to do that again? Fall season. Oh, this, this is just last, one time. Okay. Yeah, this was the last spring practice. All right, Callie, you guys. Callie's doing um, uh, athletic training at school. So she was with the football team this morning, and they had morning practice this morning. Am I right? Is that, am I describing that yeah. correctly? Yes, that was that. All right, you guys. I think we're going to wrap up. I'm going to bed early. You guys are going to watch Criminal Minds. Are you a Criminal Minds you, you watcher? Been in bed 40 minutes. I know. All right, all right. I have an early flight in the morning. So I'm going to go to bed. Good night, you guys. Good night. Right. Sweet dreams. I love you. Bye. Sweet dreams. I love you. Bye. So I'm so happy to have all the kids home finally under one roof. It makes me so, so happy. But check out this video when they all came home for Christmas. That was a wild time. See you guys.